Welcome. Porter County, Indiana. We're in Valparaiso. This is Shore Cemetery. I think this is 300 right here. We're south of Route 30. Quite a bit. Very cool little cemetery. I think Finder Grave has it. 82 graves. Let's look around. I see some nice stones. Let's see what we can find. Appreciate you watching. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing after the video. I'd appreciate it. Help the channel out a lot. All right, let's go. Very cool little cemetery. Let's see what this marker is right in the front. I think it says the name of the cemetery on it. Oh, and we got a soldier right here. Nineteen ninety-five U.S. Coast Guard. Nice. He's up here in front. Looks like he's all by himself. There may have been something here once upon a time. Let me go on the other side and get a better look at that. It says the name of the cemetery. Sure. Furman Weaver Cemetery. All right. Big old boulder over there. All right, we'll start on the back row here, see who we can find. Look for some of them old ones that's hard to read. I like figuring them out. These all look to be in pretty good shape. Eva Klein, 1904-1906. Two years old. another child right here got the lamb on top back to that not a bad day today they got the Porter County trustee right next door oh we got one over here a couple of them in the trees here in the bush. John J O H N N two N's. I don't see it like that too often. Eighteen nineteen to looks like eighteen ninety four. Seventy five years old. This is probably his also maybe. Soldier. Really read it. Straighten out his flag here. Grand Army of the Republic. All right. Thank you for your service, sir. God bless you. Got a small one here. Maybe a child. Can't see absolutely nothing on that. Fox. John Fox. Oh. Man, I can't read these either. Got something right there on top. CNA. I don't know. That might say baby. Here's the name right here. Now make it out. Maybe starts with a C or a G. Esther. E S T H E R. Esther, somebody.
Another real small one you can't make out. Another one. Hope we find some information on them. Well, I'll tell you, if I ever remember my flashlight, I'll be dangerous out here. What's this one say? C-H-R-I-S-T, Christ, Christian, somebody, Christian, 1866, looks like, died 1866. That one looks like it says Christian also, 1866, boy, I've been sitting there a long time. Look at this land right here. Nice. George. Can't really make out the last name. C A N T R Trees E E S. Eighteen fifty something to eighteen seventy five, I think. Oh, these are really hard to read. All of them in Indiana up here in the northwest are hard to read. The snow, the weather, just eats these stones up. It's really hard to read. This one says August 25th, 1855. I see that. There's a name right here. I really can't make it out. I think I see 12 days, maybe. Here. Really see anything there? This one here is upside down. Not too much uh, vandalism here. These two here are broke. Got a, got a few broke. There's the name. Good luck with that one. A lot of times I can find out who they are just by the look of the headstone. Find a grave is pretty awesome. People really dedicated to taking pictures of these and documenting. Can't see anything on that. And the uh, probably a family here, five in a row. There's a name right there. Oh no, C O A L. E N E. Thought I'd be able to read more than this. I can't make out anything on that. Try to get something off of that one. So it might help me with these. The word died. This one here, nothing. All right, not a very good start. Hope we can figure them out. Ah, might be this name here C O A K E R Conrad and Christina. Mary and Daniel, 1903, 1889, 1904, 1876. Got these here with this one facing that way. This may be a family plot. Wow, these can't be right at all. Look at this. Krieger. 
I don't know if that goes this way or this way. That one there, I see father. I think this one's a Krieger. I think I see that name there. That may help. Bunch of writing on it's all Leg illegible. There's mother, father. Here we go. I think I see, might be Adolf, maybe. Henning, maybe? 1888, it's like. I think I see 12 days. Man, E H R E T S, Eretz. Born 1823, died 1896. Right, mother and father there. Barbara, same last name, E H R E T S. M A N N, Erdsman. Oh, there's the name right there. All right, mother, father over there. Daughter of Frank and Hattie Elgin, 1899, five years old. That's so sad to always see these kids. There's always so many kids. They didn't have cures for stuff back then. Families lose all their kids most of the time. Blanche? Volk? Volky Price? Or 1881 to 1896. 15 years old. One month, 10 days. Resting lamb there. Richard Sumek, S H U M A K E, born eighteen fifty one, died eighteen ninety eight. Sumek, I think. Linda Bear. 1832, 1915. That's in great shape. <clears throat> Jacob Lance. 1820, 1905. Got a nice big one here, Lance. Let's try the mother. Maria, wife of Jacob. 1910. What we got here? That's hard. It's a marker for somebody. Probably a child. All right. Moving right along. About 50 degrees today. Come on, summer. Let's get it going. We got here. Frank P. Elgin. 1900. One here on the side. Can't see anything on it. This one here, how'd that get bent like that? It's hard to Jenny Lee Varner, 1940. Probably a baby. Here's Grace, died 1947. May, 1918, 
Myron, 1902. Let's see anything on this one. Mother and father, 1851 to 1906 for the mother. Father, 1849, 1921. This is probably the same family. Rut, Root, R-U-T-T, -T, Elizabeth, 1855, probably a baby. Here's Jacob. Uh, 1869, Frederick, 1877, Selma, 1821, 1897, George, 1816 to 1865, Civil War days, two infants, see the last name there, got infant, infant, Daniel, and David, that's maybe two more infants, see what I mean? Christina Weller, John, 1875, we got David there, Daniel, Christina, and John. E-A-S-H-E-R, Basher, maybe? Yeah, here's Sarah Basher. Age 83, John, John Letwell, John Letweller, 86 years old, 5 months, 20 days. This one says brother. Harvey, H-A-R-V-E-Y. That's about all you can see on that. Hoping I can add some pictures to uh, find a grave to help some people out. There's always people looking for pictures. Try to check it out every time I go to a cemetery. This one here. So hard to make out. All these little ones. Probably children. Can't see anything. Name right there. I see an N A, another N, definitely a child. Cummings. Oh, here's a late burial. 2005, World War II. Thank you for your service, sir. God bless you. Edgar Ralph Cummings, U.S. Coast Guard. Bears, B E A R S S. At 1862 and 1861, 23 years old, 22 years old. Two young ones. Boy, that's got to be hard on a family, I'll tell you. They died 1862 and 1861. See nothing military here. There's probably mother and father, 82 years old, 61, 1893, and 1873. Mother, father, there, Elias, C-L-I-A-S, Silas, one up against a tree here. See the hand there? Ain't nothing to be read, that's for sure. Bunch of hands. I think I see 23 days. Let's 
George, same name as the mother of bears, 1865 to 1866, another kid, one year old or less. A couple more against a tree. I don't know where they're from. Let's see. This one here has the hand pointing up to the book, the Bible. Lay it down for a minute here. Cannot read it. This one here, see MAR 1837 or 457. Sure. Stand this back up. Leave it just like it was. One right there. Might be that one. Catherine, Catherine A. Died 1865, looks like that big one. Franklin. Can't really see the days. Broken base, probably the one leaning on the tree. Somebody saved that one for that break. Seventy one years old. This one here on the screen. I, I see a lot of things going on, but my I can't make anything out. Alright, that's the last one right there. Sure Cemetery. Porter County, Indiana. Nice little cemetery. A lot of them we can't read. I hope we can figure them out. So let's see what we can do. Appreciate y'all watching the video. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Maybe give me a thumbs up, like. It helps the algorithm a lot. Really appreciate it. And we'll see y'all on the next one. Be safe out there.